I am disgustingly desperate to be loved. Why do guys not call girls pretty anymore? This has been hands down the most depressing, miserable. I don't <laughs> want to be independent anymore. <laughs> I'm tired. Yo, I changed my mind. I don't want to be independent anymore. I, I don't want to do this. Uh, I am now accepting applications for a man who wants to pay me uh, $5,000 a month and then never speak to me. You, something is wrong with you. Pay all of my bills and then just go away, please. Ooh, tell me why I just had to pay $400 to replace two tires, $400 that I don't have. Serious inquiries for a man who wants to pay all my bills, please inquire with it. This is a sick, selfish, entitled way of thinking. This is why these modern women are like this. It's because of social media and you thirsty simps who are worshiping them. Basic chicks think that, oh, a man should just pay all my bills. All I got to do is exist as a woman and he's going to just give me money and he's going to do this for me and do that for me. Think about that. These women want you to worship them. They think that they're God to you on earth. This is what it is. Just, just show up and then you take care of everything for me and I just exist. This is, this is sad, man. This is why so many men are done with women and dating. Because all they do is want you to buy them stuff and give them money. That gets annoying after so long, man. It, it, his thing. They're complaining because you guys are holding the line. There's not enough simps out there to fund these women's lifestyles. It's not enough. So now they're breaking down. They're on social media begging for money. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't want to be an independent woman. What's on the agenda today? Changing my air filter in my car. Independent women, stop it. Y'all making it hard for me. I don't want to be independent. So what does independent woman mean to you? I got it. I could do it by myself. I don't need nobody. I got my own money, my own car, my own house, my own. Shut up. You ain't supposed to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to have a partner. You ain't supposed mm -hmm. to be in this world alone. Listen to me, women, we have been lied to. We have been deceived by this kind of expectations, these expectations, multiple expectations of being both successful in our careers. Ladies, do not ever date the ugly guy. We as women need to stop giving ugly men a chance. We need to stop dating ugly men. We're feeding into their delusions. They think they can pull every one of us now. So I just left a restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a date to show up, and apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks, trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. I'm just looking for my person. Like, I think we almost the same height. Mm. How tall are you? I'm 5'8". Oh, okay. Well, I guess these heels are doing something, but a little too short for my liking, but okay. you look good. Oh, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. And how tall are you? I'm five feet. Yo, kill me with this <laughs> shit. But, I mean, we look a little level, kind of. This guy wants to take me to dinner. I don't want to go. I can't afford food right now. Should I go? <laughs> See, guys, this is why I tell you, stop taking women out to eat on the first date because they're going to use you for the most part. You're never going to hear from them. A lot of these chicks are flat out broke. I tell you, take them out to a coffee date. Take them for a walk in the park. Something free and low of charge. So if she's actually into you, she's going to want to hang out with you just for you. A lot of these females, man, they just want to go for the entertainment. And then after they get your free meal, your free drinks, they just... They ghost you and get rid of you and it's on to the next. Do not have kids. I swear to God, it's a fucking trap. Don't do it. Not one person told me growing up how terrible it is to be a parent. What is your biggest regret? Um, I'm an esthetician. I do lashes and skin. Talented, brilliant, incredible. One of my clients brought her husband in one time to do a facial and we might have exchanged numbers, so... We kind of started hooking up a little bit and I'm married. She belongs to the street. I'm still single because I believe women are sweet little angel girls who can do no wrong until they're 25. And I believe men should be born in prison and prove their way out. I am also unattractive. Give me my money.
if you under six feet tall as a man, you really can't make a woman wait for marriage longer than 18 months to two years. What? Because the fact that you got a woman at all is room enough to get married when you're under six foot tall. I never thought I'd end up as a loser with no friends that just walks in the woods in her free time and all she cares about is herself. Like, that's pretty depressing, but we're here. My boyfriend of two years just broke up with me. Rejected. Should I call him and be like, oh, please get back with me, I love you. Oh. Right, what's the craziest thing you've done? Okay, so basically my freshman year of college, um, I was playing lacrosse uh -huh. and I got pregnant. If you've seen my face before, you might know that I don't date. I never have and I'm not going to because I am done trying. And there are many reasons why. But I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Ladies, this is what you should ask yourself before you ask your man, that man, because he ain't yours yet. Ask yourself, what am I bringing to him to ease or make his life better? Women don't actually feel guilt. If you've ever seen a really nasty divorce where the woman like just fleeces the guy for like his entire net worth and takes the kids and doesn't give him visitation rights and like poisons the mind of her kids against him, for example. Like, really vindictive shit, right? The woman never feels any kind of guilt. This is true, unfortunately, for a lot of guys. And I had so many consultations with men who were going through these situations, going through divorce, the family court, couldn't see their kids, their ex-wife or their baby mom was making up lies, manipulating. This, these women are evil and vindictive. It's in them to do this. They don't care about you. And they know the system is on their side and they're going to believe everything that they say. And it's up to you, the man, to go into family court, to fight for your kids, to fork over more money, to do all these different things. It's really sad. So, guys, protect yourself. This is why a lot of guys ain't getting married. Why go through that stress? Why go through that drama and, and, and chaos that these women are going to bring to your life? This has been, hands down, the most depressing miserable horrible three years of my life i have literally never been so depressed why do guys not call girls pretty anymore like is it old-fashioned because on the last seven first dates i've been on i don't think one guy has opened with wow we look really pretty tonight i'm disgustingly desperate to be loved disgustingly desperate to be loved and yes i have friends i've got family i've got in a way i think that was a cat y'all heard that you heard the paws on the floor <laughs> these cat ladies man they're miserable that's what i tell you dudes man these chicks they're not happy being alone women crave companionship they want to be under a man they, they want a relationship. They want to get married, but they walk around and they get on social media. I don't need no man. Forget all these men. No, they're, they're miserable and they're alone and they sleep alone at night and they sleep with, with cats. Th those animals are not going to bring them any sort of value in life. Th those are just temporary distractions. These women, they, they get fulfilled when they have kids and when they're taking care of a man. This is what they're, they want. This is their nature. That I don't have in a lover's way that fills the void differently than anything else does. I just want someone to see me, to meet me and be like, holy shit, I cannot exist without this person. This person deserves the world. This person deserves to be treated like a queen. This person deserves, it is everything I've ever wanted and I will do anything for her. Notice how she says, I want a guy who treats me like a queen. I deserve this. I deserve the world. I want a guy who does this, all these different things. But what about that man? See, they don't think about a guy's happiness. All they think about is themselves and what I want. Me, 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 me. It's not worth it. Ladies, you got to understand, there's not enough simps out here. It, it, they're in short supply. Even those guys, the thirsty dudes are waking up and saying, you know what? I ain't doing it no more. So ladies, what are you going to do? But I'm so desperate. I'm so sick. It's all I'm searching for. All I want. I really don't believe 
anything could make me happy other than having somebody love me. I am absolutely convinced that men don't actually want relationships. Like, men want their lives as is. They want to go about their day exactly as it is, do whatever they would normally do, and just want somebody there when it's convenient for them or, you know, for the things they want to do. Like, I'm convinced me I'm wrong. There was a study done that said that an average date now costs $123, and they actually took 50 major cities in the U.S., and they also broke it down further based on movie dinner drinks. But to be honest, like drinks costing $12, like when I just get a drink for myself, it's $12. So I'm not quite sure. But like, just imagine living in somewhere like Miami where your date literally costs 20% of your weekly earnings.